whether you go to trail centers, bike parts, you know, where you've got some, some serious obstacles to, to clear, to have fun with, that's what this bike is built for, you know, to really, honestly, just nail it. glance you think well maybe not a lot's gone on but that's because we had a great platform to start with so you know the the improvements we've made are less sort of to the naked eye and more to the ride feel so I'd say there's probably three key areas we want to look at one is the kinematics and the kinematics is that that word that people use for um, how the suspension works you know how the suspension feels and We've learned an awful lot through our enduro and we've brought that uh, pedaling style and bump performance down into the, the Stumpy Evo. So you're getting a, a better pedaling bike, small bump performance. You're also getting a better square edge bump uh, performance as well. So the actual wheel path is changed from the old bike just to, pr just to improve those two facets, small bump performance and square edge hits. So that's one of the key things that I think we, you know, we would say that's a significant change from the old Evo to the new Evo. Another factor of this bike and uh, for a lot of riders is the ability to adjust the bike for how people ride, how they ride. Maybe they go to different locations or maybe they just have a particular way they like their bike set up. So what we've done is we've isolated head tube adjustment and bottom bracket height um, from each other. So you've now got a variety of headset cups that allows you to change your head tube angle independent of your uh, bottom bracket height. And the bottom bracket height you can adjust again now independently of head tube angle here at the uh, rear chain stays. So each of those give you a huge amount of, of adjustability um, just for each individual rider. Added to that is a steeper seat tube angle, so that it's about 76 degrees, depending on size, you know, plus or minus one degree. Um, and that means the bike is a really great pedaling bike, especially when you add into that kinematics element that we spoke about. And then the third thing um, I think is really key to focus on is sort of the, the build of the bike, if you like. The bike is now 29 only, apart from in this model, which is the limited model, the limited model is a mullet, so you can see it's a, a, a 29 front and 27.5. It also uses a coil shock and the new RockShox Z fork. So that's a unique build. The rest of the Evo bikes, all using carbon frames um, from top to bottom. The S-Works that you see here also has a carbon link. Um, but as I said, 29 inch wheel only. They're also now using uh, uh, an improved or enhanced S sizing. So historically we've had small, medium, large, extra large. This is now using the S sizing and the S sizing means that you're choosing your bike dependent on the reach. Now these bikes being the Evo models are longer than some of our other bikes um, that still follow that S sizing. So we have uh, S1 to S6 and each one of those you can choose which size is correct for you by opting for the reach that's correct for you. For instance, I ride an S3, but if I wanted the bike to be a bit longer, I could ride an S4, no problem. And if I wanted the bike to be a bit more nimble, I could ride an S2, no problem. The size is being dictated by the reach rather than the length of my legs. Frame does look very similar to the old one, but it, it isn't the same. It is a completely new frame. Um, You'll see things like the side up is more svelte. You'll see that the angles of the, of the top tube are flatter, lower. We've got more standover on these bikes. Um, and the swap that you spoke about, again, something we brought out with the original stump jumper. We've enhanced it with this uh, uh, family because now the down tube is significantly big, bigger than the old bike. So you've got your internal storage and you'll see that the bikes come with a bladder for drinking that's a 22 ounce water bladder that comes with the bike and 
also our swap pod. So that goes into the down tube. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you want to. You've got your bladder, which you can use. Obviously it has a water bottle holder and tool. So there is an awful lot of, of hidden storage built into the bike. Um, cable routing is all internal as you would expect and it's really easy to just um, push the cables through. They've got internal guys that take the cables all the way through to the exit point. And um, yeah, it's, it's a super easy bike to maintain and, and live with. So yeah, SWAT is on all of the carbon bikes. And as I say, it's, it's bigger because it's the down tube's bigger. So you've got more storage in there. It's really for the more aggressive uh, trail. It, it really enjoys the steep uh, terrain, the technical terrain. It's built really to suck up those bumps and that, that more aggressive riding style. As a uh, do-it-all trail bike, this is on the more extreme side of those things. You know, whether you go to um, trail centers, bike parts, you know, where you've got some, some serious obstacles to, to clear, to have fun with, that's what this bike is built for. When you consider all those, those uh, parts, quite small changes and, and changes you don't necessarily, necessarily see with the naked eye, but your suspension, you certainly feel. Your geometry, you certainly feel. The sizing of the bike and how it works with you completely. All those things really make a difference to the ride and the bike you end up owning.